Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, I want to talk about the difference of the Philippine life to Korean life. So this is part one of my vlog and I'm going to talk about the residential life. So when I was living in the Philippines, I used to live in a bungalow style of house. So there are many types of houses in the Philippines. We have there the bungalow, we have apartments, we have condominium, we have villas and townhouses and etc. So here in Korea, there are also different kinds of houses. So right now, I'm living in an apartment and there's also villa in Korea. Apartment type of house is very common here in Korea, just like the villas. So I'll be talking about the different kinds of houses in Korea and in the Philippines on my next vlog. And since I am living in an apartment type of house here in Korea, I want to talk about something which is a problem that we're experiencing right now. So actually, um, I've heard in the news that um, a lot of people, neighbors, are complaining their neighbors because of the noise that we're making. So since there's the pandemic, so people ought to work at home. Most of the people are studying and working at home. So it means they're staying at home and they can make a lot of noise. My daughter is already attending the kindergarten. So it's from the morning until afternoon. So because of that, she's not here at home and my husband is also working. So it's just me who's left at home together with our two dogs. Now, one of the problems that we are facing right now is the noise problem here. Actually, it's not us who complains, but it is us being complained to. Why? It's because my daughter... Uh, of course, she's a toddler, so she tend to run, she tend to scream, she tend to play. So she's making noise in short, which our neighbor under, they can hear it very well. So we're having a trouble with that. And not only my daughter, we also live with two dogs. So they're also complaining about the noise of our dogs. My dogs just make noise whenever there's someone who, that's not familiar with them or if there's techbe or the delivery, they're going to make noise. Of course, as a responsible owner of the dogs, we should always look after them and if they're making noise inside the house, it's a big no-no here. So we should always try to keep them quiet. But of course, they're also uncontrollable, right? So I'm also having a hard time making them tame or making them quiet whenever someone visits our house or if yeah, someone drops a parcel in front of the door because they can hear it. Actually, I am new to this problem because back in the Philippines when my daughter and I were there, it's not a big deal if my my daughter will run, will shout, will go around of the house because we live in a bungalow style of house. But since she grew up, now, now she's a toddler, now it's becoming a problem because our neighbor keeps on complaining actually the front neighbor never complained they're already um grandma and grandpa but our problem is the neighbor downstairs so uh they already sent us notes so many times in front of our house they already called my husband and last night was really terrible. So the youngest son went here. After he pressed the doorbell, he tried to bang the door. That's why my husband got angry. So he confronted my husband regarding the noise that we're making. Actually, at that time, I was washing the dishes and my husband and my daughter are inside the room. And my dogs are also quiet. So I was wondering... Why was he really angry at that time? When my husband opened the door, he just keeps on saying bad words. Like, he keeps on saying that. 
Of course, my husband was really offended because he's really younger than us. I think he's just 25 years old, maybe. Oh, I think, yeah, he's really younger than us. You know, here in Korea, respect is really important, especially to the elders. And he really talks really low to my husband. That's why my husband also got angry. And I thought my husband will, will also fight back at him, but he didn't. So he just keep cursing and cursing. Uh, extend that he he told my husband that we should throw our dogs and my, my daughter was watching them last night because i was also there the living room because they are there um talking because after my husband opened the door he went inside our house and he keeps on cursing so i was really surprised and my daughter was also surprised and i i'm just keeping an eye at him whatever action he might do after three minutes, I think, his uh, older brother went to our house. He went inside the, of our house and then the, the younger brother didn't want to leave the house. And he just keeps on and he just keeps on cursing until he was sent back to his house. So my husband and the elder brother tried to talk about what's the problem, how can we solve it because they already complained several times and as we tried our best to be quiet still as what i've told a while ago uh there are some instances or there are some times that the situation is uncontrollable so they try to resolve the problem and that leads us to uh buying a mat which is really expensive but as what my husband said, his stress is more expensive. That's why he, he just wanted to wanted this issue to be solved. So what I'm trying to say in this vlog is that of course we have we are responsible for my daughter's action. We are responsible for our dogs as our pet, but um someone who could be that rude is unacceptable. Why? He, he just keeps on cursing to us, right? It's really not good. And um, according to my husband, when someone tries to go to your house and knocks, then it's illegal. Then that's the time that I can call the police to report it. So that is the problem that we are encountering right now as we live in an apartment type of house here in Korea that noise problem is a serious problem between the neighborhoods. Actually, I'm very thankful with our neighbor in front because they never complain. That's why, yeah, we always greet each other in the elevator. And yeah, they also talk to my kid. But our neighbor downstairs is really not that uh, friendly to us. So to come up with a solution, make our house soundproof. And so that my daughter could also enjoy um, playing because whenever she tries to run or scream, we always tell her like, shh, quiet, shh, quiet, don't make any noise. But of course, uncontrollable. Sometimes she's being uncontrollable. That's why she keeps on playing whatever, whatever kind of game or she wanted to do she's doing that and so we are very sorry for that actions that we're not able to make her stop one more thing is that i want to say that i am not blaming them and also it's not our fault because naturally whenever there's a person inside a room or yeah inside the house it's very impossible for us not to make noise so it comes out naturally right when you wash the dishes when you try to cook food when you watch tv so on and so forth so naturally we're going to make noise so i'm also thinking that it's also the problem of the apartment management because i know that this apartment building was built um long time ago 
and it's an old building apartment building so it means they were not able to plan to have a soundproof floor in between neighbors that's why every footsteps that we make they can hear it or we can hear it from from above the government here in Korea uh, told uh, the construction builders that the apartment buildings that will be finished by the year 2022 should be soundproof so that um, there will be minimum noise that people can make and so that the neighbors will not quarrel over this kind of problem. It's a lesson for us because we should always be um, responsible of our actions. It's also a lesson for them not to not to be rude. So that's all I just wanted to share what we experience here in Korea, what I experience living in Korea, living in an apartment. So you guys who are also here or who's planning to live in an apartment with pets or with kids, be extra, 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 extra careful with the noise that you're going to make because someone might get stress with those kind of actions. So this is the solution that we came up with. So we're putting some blocks on our floor. So it's this thick very thick and i hope they couldn't hear our footsteps anymore there you go so until our kitchen so inside our master's bedroom we also asked them to put the some floor mat so this is how it looks like so as you can see it's thick so here is the finished product ayan we have blocks until the kitchen area. So even I jump, they cannot hear me. So thank you so much again for joining me in this vlog. Bye!